Have you ever thought about a seed? Good seeds are little things that if planted at the right time, the right place, and are tended to, become huge blessings down the road. Whatever seeds you're sowing today, seeds for your future, for your family, for your faith, or for actual food, you're at the right place. Welcome to the Sowing Seeds Podcast. Now, here's your host whose intellect can only be measured by quantum mechanics, whatever that is, Matt Miller. We all use different types of motivation to help us move forward, to help us pursue our goals, dreams, and aspirations along the way. And I got to be honest, over the last decade to decade and a half, actually longer when I think back to some of the things that occurred, it was negative motivation, negative external motivation, which for me was ultimately the biggest driver in some of the things that I've done and and we've accomplished in our family over the years. When I was in high school, I was working at a place called Colonial Restaurant in Sycamore and DeKalb, Illinois. And I had a manager there who was a neat lady from a family. Actually, several of the sisters all worked together at Colonial at that time. And when she heard that I had gotten accepted to the United States Air Force Academy, her comment to me basically basically was, you'll be back, Matt Miller, within six months to a year, and you'll be begging for your job here at Colonial Back. See, I was involved in choir and musicals and all that, but then I was also involved in sports. I lettered in football. I lettered in track. And it never ended during football season, the grief that I got and the comments that were made because I wasn't a 100% football guy. I ran or I played football, but then I also had other interests with the choir and in doing musicals. I'll never forget one time I got pulled out of a play during the middle of a game. He grabbed me by the face mask, all ticked off, and said, you know what, Miller, if you weren't worrying about studying your lines for the next play, you would have made that tackle. Another time... I missed a tackle in practice, and he ended up taking his wooden clipboard and slamming it down on top of my football helmet, cracked his clipboard in half, and his papers blew everywhere in the wind. I remember a family member here several years back as we were still trying to figure out what we wanted to do long-term business-wise, And as SSV was starting to take off, basically telling me, hey, you've just been a a bunch of hot air for years. Nothing's going to ever end up coming out of that. In fact, you don't even own a house today and are still renting a house because of all your dreams and all your talk. I'm sure you guys have had some folks like that in your life along the way. And I got to be honest, those conversations, those comments that still are with me today propelled me and in some cases continue to propel me forward today. What's motivating you? Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it someone in your life who doesn't understand you and what you believe that God has put on your heart to do with your life, keep it to yourself, but use it to drive you forward. Use it to keep you going, even in those times when you feel like quitting. You see, there was no way I was going to leave the Air Force Academy and let that manager of mine be right. There was no way I was going to stop 
my pursuit of business and let that family member of mine be right. So even in my lowest times, the times when it would have been just easier to roll over and give up, I used those situations and comments to stick with this thing one more day and to work through it despite the struggles and the downs along the way. Who's your negative motivator? Thank you for listening to the Sowing Seeds Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave us a five-star review in iTunes or your podcast player of choice. So until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.